Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we're here at this wonderful club to launch Esther Nash Room Service. And I'm here with Tia Walker, who is the editor in chief of the Quest for Life. How exciting this new the Quest for it. Quest for it. Excuse me. The Quest for it. This fabulous new magazine. Tell my audience how you came up with the concept and the name. Okay, well, the quest for it, actually, we're not quite a magazine yet. We're still a blog, but we cover art, fashion, and media, and I... We're was, an uh, online magazine. We are, we, we are. We are an online magazine. Um, basically, I was uh, uh, going to Fashion Week here in New York, and I wasn't, um, wasn't going to quite everything that I thought that I should be going to, and so I... Um, called up buying G and I'm, I wanted to go to more shows and I wanted to cover things officially and so um, I, I started a quest to get this to get this done to get myself in and covering officially and so I started writing about um, the process of me doing that and me doing a lot of other things um, and so that kind of so became... So it was a quest. It was a quest. It was a quest to be yeah. able to do what I felt that I should do at the time which it was, was getting a quest. the fashion we get and yeah. officially cover it. And that's how you came up with the title. That's how I came up with the title. But now I think everything about the, the blog, everything about my quest has changed a lot. It used to be like my quest to get to the A-list and get to all the wonderful parties and all the wonderful um, the lifestyle and everything that a lot of people want. And I pretty much have a lot of the things that I want. So now I think the quest for it is just whatever anybody wants it to be. I mean, you could be on a quest to lose weight. You could be on a quest to make more money. You could be on a quest to find yourself. You know, I think it means a lot more than just getting to the A-list. It's, it's whatever you want it to be. Well, I feel that it's a quest not just to interview big celebrities, but it's a quest to get them to open up their world and make a difference with their life and use their platform of celebrity for a cause, for a charity, for something that comes from the heart. I exactly. think that's so important. I do too, and that's why we chose Esther Nash, uh, the party tonight. You've probably been watching people over and over again tonight. Um, interview here with Cognac. That's why we chose her as our cover model. Um, the Esther Nash resurfaces because we wanted to um, we wanted to kind of put Esther out there in a way that people wouldn't really know who she is. Um, a lot of times you've seen her face, and she walks a lot of red carpets. Uh, but you don't really know what she does. So we wanted to, she's on a quest. And we wanted to get her out there front and center uh, as our return to feature stories. We hadn't written a feature story in a long time. I hadn't done one in a long time. So I figured have a party, have a perfect girl to be the cover girl. Now, how did you choose Esther for this? What made you choose her? Um, what was so special about her? Well, what happened was I had uh, my friend, my good friend Patrick Hazelwood, who's a model and event producer here in New York, uh, had introduced me to Esther maybe two fashion weeks ago at fashion week and um i remembered her name and i started seeing her name more and more and seeing her at the same events and so i i i couldn't take it anymore i said i gotta get to know who this person is but who is she you know and when i found out i emailed her and i i said you know i i you know i like to talk to you and find out a little bit more about you and when i did i was so glad that i did because then i was just like oh my god this is this is my my next feature story this is someone who's been around who um, appears in every major uh, publication. Her photos appeared in every major publication of parties out about town, but I didn't know anything about her, and I wanted other people to know, because if I'd seen her in publications, then other people would probably seen her. But if you're just seeing a picture, and there's no story, then what are you gonna do? And I, and I know recently, the funny thing is, you had just during the interim of uh, me meeting Esther, you had actually written a story on Esther. That's so then right. there was something online, but there hadn't been anything online in terms of a real interview. A most real of the media. Right, interview. most of the stuff that she'd done had been print, had been print publications. So, um, you know, and then when you yours, saw it on my little blog and the little TV interview that I did with exactly, her. Exactly, exactly. And then I said, oh, great. I said, okay, well, then we need to know more. So that's kind of how I came up with her. And um, and that was that. And so we're always on the quest looking for the next feature story person. I'm not really sure who it's going to be for December, although I shouldn't probably tell you that because we're almost in December. But we've got time because the next... Um, the next article wouldn't come out until the end of December anyway, so I'm, I'm safe, safe for now. You're safe for now. <laughs>
Is, can you tell my audience anything new that's coming up with the blog? I mean, any new events that you're going to be working um, on? I have uh, the junior, oh uh, my God, Ballet Hispanico, the junior Ballet Hispanico, which is uh, a high-end event. It's going to take place in December. I think it's either the 6th or the 8th. And I, I don't really do many uh, music uh, projects and music coverage at all. Uh, and it's not really music. It's really a ball uh, ballet, a dance. So I thought that was Sounds kind of interesting. Beautiful. And also hits the Latin population, which I really haven't hit as far as I know anyway. So I thought that would be interesting. Um, I've got a lot of high-end events, but I have another one with BET. It's a... I don't even know. It's a, a life beat. Life beat. It's a charity-based uh, evening, and Mary J. Blige is going to be singing, and that I think is also the first week of December. So I'm kind of busy. I'm trying to. I'm trying to move to the music stuff for the holidays to do something different. It sounds exciting, darling. It sounds special. It sounds wonderful. It sounds all good. <laughs> and I'm going to be reading it and packing it all away in my little brain. Good. Good. <laughs> Well, thanks for interviewing me, and we're going to go back out, I guess, and enjoy the party. And we're going to have a great time, and I want you to tell my audience the website to get on. Go the to The Quest for It, www.thequestforit.com, which is T-H-E-Q-U-E-S-T-F-O-R-I-T.com. Check it out. Well, there you have it, folks. You're going to give me a kiss goodbye, darling? Of course, goodbye. That's Kanye. Keep watching more celebrity interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs>